too many games. Now we gotta play them all. So what about the Steam Train? Choo -choo. Hello, and welcome back to Steam Train. Welcome back to Steam Train. We're in the bar. Mm -hmm. Don't get weird, Ross. Let's talk to this dude. Mm -hmm. I could really use a whiskey. Me too, buddy boo. I'm sorry, but the closest thing we have is sproutberry juice. I'm sorry, but for <laughs> since I lost the Iron Man suit, things <laughs> haven't been the same. God damn it. Exactly what sort of beverages do you serve here? Hey, I make a superb King Alfalfa. Or perhaps a broccoli and non brand named Cola. Uh. Hey, what about a zucchini wall banger? Yuck. How about a mineral water? Nope. Fresh out. Got some pool water, though, but it's a little careeny. All right, this will get us nowhere. Let's get out of here. <sighs> sometimes, sometimes their, 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 like, weird humor is even, like... Too weird it, for you? It even makes me sigh. I know? like it. I like I, it. I do like it, though. It, it reminds... Sometimes. It, it makes me feel like I'm playing, like, a game with my dad. You know? But your dad's the writer, developer, and, like, Ex story. Exactly. Lead. Yeah. Can you imagine if your Someone dad actually did make a game? Quick, Mr. Rushdie, under the bed. Oh, oh wow, a oh. Salmon Rushdie joke. Very, very topical in 1994. Sorry, go ahead. What your dad actually did make a game. It'd be the tutorial, it'd just open with, Hey! Hit <laughs> <get> lift! <laughs> Hi, player one! <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> no, don't stop! I hope that's not Andrew again. <laughs> when will he realize your toes are mine? All mine! Oh, God. <laughs> Wait. Yo, Art! You again. Oh, okay. Come on, hop on board. Hang on. Alright. Oh! We have reached the end of the line. <laughs> God Please damn it. watch your step getting <laughs> off the tram. <laughs> and thank you for riding Art's tram line. Ah, uh, please step out of the way. I, I need to turn my tram around. Like a volt. All right. Like a volt. What does that mean? Oh, it just means like oh yeah yeah. It's a Yiddish thing. Oh, is it? Oh my God. Was fucking thing uh, from Power Rangers Yiddish? I, I what was who? My... The robot. Oh shit. Ay 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 ay. Zordon. Was he Yiddish? It's very possible. Oh, how about that shit? Haim Saban and Shuki Levy. They created it. They're Israelis. Wait, what? The creators of Power Rangers? Oh wait, yeah. What's he doing? Sign language. No. Uh, lose something? Well, kind of. I was just thinking about heading over to the employee's campground for a cigar break, but I'm out of matches. Oh. Uh, you know what? Let's save our game. Oops. It saved it as I had a big burp. Well, it's true. You did. Okay, so... Boop. Hey, Art, you want a match? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> That'd be good. You know what they say, a woman is only a woman, but a good cigar is a smoke. Who said that, anyway? <laughs> no idea. I don't know. So, uh... Ooh, where did he go? Um... Can you steal his tram? Yeah, dude, he left us with this. We gotta fuck with it. I wonder what this baby looks like under the hood. Probably like a shit. <laughs> Direct. Um, what am I looking at right you now? You want to steal a battery for her? No, that she needs D cells. The battery yeah. supplies all the tram's power. Without it, the tram wouldn't move, and Art would have to walk. Let's fuck it up. Disconnect the power cable from the battery to the motor? Why, that would mean the poor tram wouldn't run and Art would have to walk. Do it. Yep. Get the wrench. Yes. Clever. You use the wrench to disconnect the power cable from the motor. Um, anything else I can do here? The tram's toilet tank cleverly disguises an electric motor with power source. Um, the tram's toilet. Okay, yeah, I guess we're good. Let's get out of here. That ought to cause this guy some trouble. <laughs> I'm out. just an asshole. Here comes the driver. Okay. All 
All right. We got to focus. Hey, what the? Ugh, hot spam gone bright for the stupid ass tram. It's dark in there. Where's my light? You knock him out? I don't know. Should I, should I knock him out? Nope, not me. Now, let me see. Oops. Whoa! Did you just, did you just, I don't know. Because you want the batteries in his Excuse port. Excuse me, sir. Oh, yeah. May I be of assistance? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, something happened to my motor. Not getting any juice. And I don't seem to be able to hold up the hood, aim the light, and still work under here. Uh, maybe I can help you. How about if I hold your flashlight for you? Nice. Sure. <laughs> Anything is better than this. There. Does that help? Yeah. Perfect. Knock now out. I can see what's going on under here. Knock him out. It looks like some butthead disconnected my power cable. Dick move. But I think I can force fit it back on there. He's gonna get electrocuted. I hope not. Seems like a good dude. Yeah, got it. <laughs> now let's see if it wakes. Yep, I got the flashlight. Okay. But it's still on his sprite. Hey, no, I got <laughs> good as new. You deftly open the flashlight, extract Art's yes. batteries, and close it up again, all without him noticing a thing. Good job, Slick Ross. Move, Larry. Fucking God, you are a savant when it comes to this shit. Oh, 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 hey, hey, I almost forgot. I need my flashlight back. Yep. There you go. Boy, that sure is a powerful flashlight. <laughs> yep. Titanium alloy case, Fresnel lens, leather carrying case, and six D cells worth of pure candle power. See you later. More and like if you ever need a ride, now. just say so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bye bye. The tram is just leaving for Kingman, Barstow, Cucamonga, and all points west. Oh boy. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Nice, we got him. So yeah. we can get back to that girl and give her batteries. Yeah, where did he go over here? What is this? This is that's the campgrounds for the employees. But come on in there. Blatantly ignoring the high voltage signs on the fence, you walk right up, grab the wires, and attempt to climb the fence. Oh, oh shit. God damn Please it. don't kill us. Please don't kill us. <laughs> damn it. It seems obvious you're not going to climb over that fence. It's okay. This game is super forgiving with your deaths. It just puts you right back there. That oh, would have God. caused permanent brain damage in a better man. <laughs> okay. Um... Almost hidden by the mature landscaping, a large chain-link fence is broken only by a gate with an electronic lock containing a small slot. Oh, so I need, like, an ID card or something. Right. Okay. You could probably get that from someone. I'm sure. I mean, obviously, but I meant... Well, well, I'm sure someone will have it. Yeah. Oh, that idiot who's probably looking at girls now. Yeah, oh, that's right. we gotta right. be really careful here. Oh, God. Are you sure? Ah, uh, yeah, see? Oh, Barry, you're gonna have to blur that out, actually. We are looking at boobies on this, uh... Wow. Barry, don't blur out the boobies with more boobies. That is, uh... That is not a good idea. That is a bad Use idea. Use a blue-footed booby yeah, from you, the Galapagos yeah. Island. Exactly. They are endangered and very beautiful birds. Oh, man. Look All how right. excited he is to be looking at the Galapagos Islands blue-footed booby. <laughs> Daryl is too preoccupied to pay attention to you. Now's your chance, Larry. You can steal the place dry. Oh, damn it! I don't think uh, the gun. That's though. what you have been doing. I think he means the ID. The I don't see an ID on him. Maybe that little thing on the left. This thing. Daryl, the gate guard, head of La Costellata's crack security force, seems to be very engrossed in the new TV season, or something. It's a good thing I turned that camera around and aimed it into the woman's shower. Uh, I'm really nervous here. Me too. This is where Daryl keeps his stash. Oh. Of Wayne Newton cassettes. Oh, never mind. And, like, I wonder if I could just slip that. 
I don't know. Why would uh, we need a gun? I don't know, dude. An unused pair of handcuffs dangle from Daryl's belt. On his shoulder. What does it say? It, no, nothing. It just looked at Daryl. I think we need the cuffs. Yeah, I think so too. Fucking. Uh, I want to grab the gun because that's that's what crashed the game last time. I know. Time. Let, let's let's save that for the very end. Yeah. We'll, yeah. We'll come back to it. Right right before we end this uh, episode, we'll we'll try to grab it. Um. Um. Let's see where. We need, to, we need to get the girl a dress. Yeah, um, you know, maybe maybe if you give the batteries to that girl, she might give you what you need. Oh yeah, the batteries, that's yeah, so right. Go downstairs. Um, where- Was where, it where? downstairs to the right? It's in the health spa. Is that here? No, this is the kitchen. No, no, you wanna go back out. Yeah, yeah, it's- uh, it's, it's, it's- it's farther to the to left. The, isn't it? I thought it was to the right, cause yeah. it's stairs. No, I know, this shit gets confusing. Um, but it's here. Is it? Yeah. They need to demark these doors better. Cause it's through here. Whoop. No, oh, okay, more more blurring, Barry. Yep. More blurring. Get to it, Barry. Hey, Barry, uh dude. remember there was jeans on that guy? Oh yeah. Put them back on. We talked to him. No. How many times do you have to hear this? You're the one looking for the women, okay? Hey, okay. don't tell me what I want to look for. Yeah. It's Maybe the... I want to look at that guy's tush. Yeah, this is in the nineties. Maybe he's got a nice tush. Why is it wrong to tell a man he has a good tush? Okay, so here we go. Charlotte Donay reclines in her mud bath. You cast your most radiant smile at her. She barely glances at you. Oh, damn. Good enough for me. Hello. Enjoy these batteries, please. Here's your battery, Char. But I might mention I had to go through a lot of trouble just to find them. Oh, they're perfect! Woo-wee! There'll be a hot time in the Osha tonight. <laughs> oh, God. So, uh, what do you say? Uh, how about I climb in that mud with you for a little good, dirty fun? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Larry. I have a much better idea. I've been in that Electroshock Exercise Center so much this week, I'm sure I know how to work it. Why don't we go over there for a little charge session? But don't they keep that door locked? Oh, well, yes, but if you're smart enough to find me six heavy-duty D-cells in a health spa, I just know you can find a way into a locked door. Oh boy. Oh god, Th these girls never want a simple thing. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's a, I think it's this, isn't it? This door bears a tiny brass plaque with the delicate La Costellata logo and the words Electroshock Exercise Center. Yeah. Oh god. So, how do we get in here? Oh, yes, let us save our game. Go for it, Ross. <clears throat> Electroshock. Um, batteries. Okay, you're gonna have to click on it for me. Oh yeah. Sorry. No problem. There you, you go. You click. You missed. No, click, it's on. Did you? Oh, yeah. you did. Okay. okay. S J. I'm sorry. Fuck. Out. Okay. H. Shock. Me. Shock me cock. What? Did, how does your brain work so differently than any other human beings? It's really amazing. All right. I guess is this is a padlock. You try the knob, but the door is kept locked by an electronic keypad with billions and billions of possible combinations. Billions we'll pause a moment billions. while you enter every one of them. Okay, done. None of them work. Great. Now, how could you open a sensitive electrical device like this since you don't have a sledgehammer? Um, I think we need a sledgehammer. Yeah, shit. I have n no idea. Um, mud. No, not mud. Lard. Not lard, Ross. Um, uh, the heated lamp. The heated lamp. Oh, we do have matches for the lamp, don't we? Mm hmm Oh no, we used- we gave it- oh, but the matches are free. Alright, let's- let's do that, because I fucking have absolutely no idea how to open that. Let's grab another match and see if we can light the lamp. Cause I believe that's another thing we can give uh to Shamra. 
Really? Yeah, our girl up on the penthouse. Oh, she loves the lamp? She she just loves, like, all beautiful things. Oh, okay. We're trying to show her the beauty of the world. Lard? Not lard. Mm -hmm. Already tried to give her the lard, Ross. Oh, that's right, we did, yep. <laughs> At your behest. Mm -hmm. And we tried to give her the, um... The... paper? Oh! Oh, this is new. Yeah. Country singer? Grab the matches first. Oh, boy! Free matches! He's such a nerd. Oh boy. Oh yay. Free stuff. I'm actually exactly the same way. I'm like, ooh, peanuts. <laughs> Burgundy is too busy performing to talk with you. Show your they penis. say she loves to perform. In fact, once she starts, she never stops. Oh, oh damn. damn. Better show her my penis. You carefully adjust your clothing. Nope. Ah. Okay, great. You hope no one noticed. <laughs> I, I never noticed him do the head turn. Yeah, I didn't either. Let me try it on her. Perhaps you should try looking at her first. Oh, oh. well, all right. What, uh, Mr. Old Fashioned Romance? <laughs> yeah. I like to Burgundy look a girl in the eyes when I hot break the law. <laughs> Let's try that again. Burgundy is La Costellata's hot new blues singer. Her picture is prominently featured in the La Costellata promo they run on Stallions. Oh. I guess we have to wait till she stops playing. Which is probably she says is too busy performing she won't stop. to talk with, but there must be some stop. way to get it. Has, we have to be in here another time. Wait, did it say we, there must be some way something? Burgundy is too busy performing to talk with you. And they say she loves to perform. No. Nope. But there must be some way to get her to talk with you. Open that door and drown the whole room. That's a great idea. <laughs> Holy shit! Next time, try entering the swimming pool from upstairs. Okay. God, I love how fucking forgiving that is. I love how they actually let you do that. Yeah, <laughs> it's really dumb. Alright, we'll worry about that later. Um, okay, so let me try to use the... 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 match... on the lamp. I think the lamp's the first one. Oh, yeah. Lighting the lamp is a good idea, but don't you need to fill it with fuel first? Uh, wait, uh, isn't lard? Um... Hmm? No. What is the, what's that third one? That's the hand cream. Hand cream. What's the second one? Hmm? The second one is the electrical cord. Huh. Oh, uh, Ross, you just made me think of something. What? The fucking electrical cord. We can short circuit the the, the fucking the door thing with mud. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try to do that now. Yeah, let's do it. Why wait? Why not? Why, why wait? I love these games. Yeah, me too. <laughs> They're such man. little adventures. Um. And I also love that I'm walking through the shower in my fucking full leisure oh, suit. Guy hey, what's up? Nice pants, bro. Nice pants. Okay. Hastily drawn. <laughs> Here we go. Boop. You get a wild idea. Use the electrical cord to short circuit the electronic door lock. Yes. But just wrapping the wire around the lock does nothing. Oh, maybe the fucking electrical socket right here. How they tell you you're an idiot? Yeah, they it's really. Like, they, yeah, they, it does nothing they, stupid. They tell you just like gently enough that you can kind of figure out what to do, but like. Yeah. They, um, they don't totally insult your intelligence. Yeah, but they kind They're of. They're just do. like, you get it, but you're doing it wrong. Yeah, stupid. Okay, so one end in there, one end over here. What a great idea! Use the electrical cord to short circuit the electronic door lock. But even though the cord is plugged into the wall outlet, the insulation on the end in your hands prevents current from flowing to the door's lock. What, do I have to just, like, get rid of the insulation? Cut it. Oops, forgot to unplug it first. Oops, sorry, 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 we're dead. Sorry, I killed us. Well then! <laughs> what a shock! Perhaps you shouldn't play with electrical cords while they're yeah. plugged in. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, at least it teaches you good uh, 
fucking safety tips. Yeah, that's healthy. Maybe I can use this somewhere else. Okay. All right. Now let me try. I let you get the people in. No, this, in the, that's in not the, in the mud. We're not in, trying to the... kill anyone, Ross. We're trying to. I just want to have this one of like these games where it's a murder game. <laughs> Wait. Here we go. You carefully strip away approximately two centimeters of insulation from the end of the wire without the three-pin grounded plug. Right now, you can murder three people in this room with that. I know I could, Ross. That's really great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So one end goes in here. And the other... Wait, so how did you bite it? Oh, if you just put that hand on oh. these things, like, if there's something to do with them, it'll, like, automatically do the right thing. Gotcha. The other half goes in here. Yeah! Cleverly touching the electronic lock with the bare ends of your electrical cord, you pass 120 volts at high amperage through the electronic lock's delicately printed circuit boards, frying them immediately with a gratifying shower of sparks. The lock gives up the ghost as its solenoid freezes in a permanently open state with a loud click. Hey Charlotte, I've got it open. Come on in. Good work, Larry. I'll be right there. What if she's an international take spy? A quick shower first, okay? I'll meet you inside in a few seconds. Yeah, I wish I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. Jeez, man. Okay, Char. I'll see you in a few minutes. Right in here, okay? People would have a lot of dollars. After I shower, I'll meet you in the Electroshock Exercise Center. Got it. Thank you for recapping that. <laughs> oh, God. They fucking... Yeah. Well, asking her. That's the end of that. I know I'll never see her again. Oh, Larry. Have some faith, man. Oh, yeah. The guy's... Daryl. The security guard's definitely gonna perv. Okay. okay, we're in the electroshock Someone's room. Someone's in there, by well, the way. Well, I suppose I have plenty of time to explore this place. Should we explore Oh, it? wait. Oh! Here I am, Damn, man. that was fast. Hi, Char. That was fast. I really rushed through my shower. I hope you don't mind. I'm still dripping wet, and I didn't have time to put on any clothes. Tragedy. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, no, um, uh, that'll be fine, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but don't you need to be fully grounded, babe? Oh, don't worry your pretty head about me. Just take off all your clothes and hop up on that table. Okay, if you say so. She's not gonna torture us, Ross. She's gonna torture us. Ooh, now lie flat on butt. your back, so I can have total access to your entire body. Hey, this may work out all right yet. <laughs> oh my god, he's such a little gnome. I don't think we need to blur anything out, there's nothing to be seen. There's to literally begin, nothing there. I'll just smear some randomly selected appendages with some of this electroconductive jelly. This doesn't seem like a great idea, actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Some Next, people are into shocks. I'll attach these little alligator clips to various parts of Ooh. your body. Wow. Somewhere out there, this is a fetish. I would not be getting into this. Ow! Ah. Yeah, the minute I hear alligator, I'm like, mmm, yeah, probably good. Not horny. Ah. <laughs> Char, you didn't tell me this was gonna hurt. <laughs> Besides, if I'm on the table and you're on the floor, how can this be any fun? Oh, silly. Just wait until I get your juices flowing. You've never felt anything like this in your whole life. Oh, dear God. I wish I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. <laughs> oh, I, love I love running jokes. Okay, now let me turn on the machine. This I'm ready hurt. to crank up the voltage a little. Tell me when you start to feel it. Oh, jeez. Doesn't that feel grand? Feel good? I don't feel anything, Char. Strange. 
Well, let me give it a little more. There now. How does That's that a lot of lights. Feel? Great, isn't it? Great? I don't know what I'm supposed to be feeling, but I don't feel a thing. Uh -oh. Huh? I don't understand. I thought for sure I've been through this enough to know how to do it to you. <laughs> oh shit. She's cranking it to 11. Oh my god. <laughs> what if he just, he just grabbed her leg, then I she would get shot too. It's up all the way. Well, I'm not. <laughs> Something's wrong, Char. Why don't you disconnect me and we'll just use his bench in the regular old way. What? I know there's something. Oh no, she's- uh, Wait! There it is! Oh, silly me. He's gonna kill you. Look, Larry, it's this cable. Fiddle-dee-dee. It isn't plugged in. Fiddle-dee-dee? Ah! Char! No! Stop! <laughs> ah! Yo! Ah! Oh, god damn it. God, is that your tongue? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> this is unfortunate. Funny that this kills you in every what? other part of the game. Ouch! Whoa! Let me out of here! Whoa! She was in there. She got zapped. Yes! Didn't I tell you I would turn you on? Did that kill you? Or did that you <laughs> just barf? And they, oh god. <laughs> oh god. What a horrible. Oh my god. Yeah. After a full night of sparkin', a little nap feels good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not dead. <laughs> yeah. All right. I guess we. I guess we did it. Um. Okay. Save. Do it, Ross. Shock me, cock. No, not. Not dead. Not dead. So true. All right. Now. We should be done with this, but got a couple things mm -hmm. real quick to tidy up. Mm -hmm. Did you notice that the girl in the suntan bed that went crazy, mm -hmm. did you notice she dropped something? I did not. She definitely did. So I want to grab it because we'll forget. This is the last one we're recording for tonight. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to forget it. That's fair. Okay. What do you think it was? It, it looked like just a little circular thing. But it was like sparkling. Hmm. Probably something for the main character. I, I bet you're right. I, I bet you're absolutely right. Oh, she's gone. Yep. Okay, so we solved her her situation. Mm-hmm. This door is open. Cool. Oh, yep. There we go. See Shiny. it? Yeah. What is this thing? A large pearl earring lies on the floor, exactly where that naked woman dropped it as she ran screeching from the room. Great. <laughs> okay. This is the tanning bed nope. from which Ella- Whatever happened to her anyhow? Uh, Who was that? I don't know. This is the tan- Whatever oh, happened- Oh boy. Alright, this is gonna take a couple tries. I have to like, center it perfectly. This is the tan- nope. Whatever- No. Nope. Just pick it. This is the whatever. Oh, just, just, pick, just pick it up. I'm using the hand, wrong yeah, hand. I was say. Sorry. There's really not much. There's really not much to do. There's really God not damn it. much. There's really not. There's really not. There's Fire. really. I know not, I can pick this thing really, up. There's really. There's. Re, there's. 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 <laughs> there's. Let there's, me try. There's. There's. Let there's. Me try. Uh, yeah. Please. There's really not much to do here since everything. There's, 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 there's. <laughs> Got it. Good job, Scaled. Ross. Yeah. No uh, scope. <laughs> there's, there's, there's. Um. Wow. Look at this funny shaped thing. What could it be? The top of the cabinet holds several vials of unknown substances. That doesn't look like an unknown substance. Yeah. That looks, looks like, like a very no. Yeah. I was, was going to say the exact same shape thing. Shape and substance. All right. Let's let's get out of here. But let's give the girl. Um, that gift first. And then we'll end it on that. Yeah. Whoa, there's oh, a lot dude, of dude butts. Got way better. Barry, more pants, please. More pants. <laughs> Boy, I love these, uh, these long episodes. They're so chill. Yeah, man. Um, okay. 
Shamra, you're gonna like this pearl thing. Oh yeah, we can. Can we give her the lantern? Oh, we never even get oil. Yeah, her. we need to light it. Oh my god, we have to get back in this fucking thing. Again. The the dumb waiter. Yeah. Every time. While you would like to. Okay. You bang on no. the door. No. There we go. <laughs> I think you have a huge ass for that one second. Just love that face just the second before it cuts to this. Yeah, the <gasps> it doesn't do anything now, of course. The dumbwaiter doors are already open. Oh. Hey, wait a There we go. Are they really called, called dumbwaiter doors? Yeah, dumbwaiters. They, they, they were used to, like, um, <gasps> get stuff, like, from different floors. Like, um, you know how they used to have, like, mail chutes? Oh, yeah. In old, yeah, yeah, yeah. Old buildings. Oh, there she is. She's gotta go to the bathroom eventually. Uh, she probably has. Good question, though. Hello. What? What is this thing? The high amperage of the spa's electroshock exercise machine has transformed your genuine gold-plated medallion into a mass of molten metal now resembling modern sculpture. Oh. You decide to name it Suffering in Silence. Oh. oh. All right, I bet she, I can give probably, that to her yeah, too. Yeah, she probably wants that and that. Yeah. I have this uh, object. Ah, so I see. It's beautiful. It is. It is. <laughs> I'd like you to have it. Why, thank you, Larry. It's not only beautiful. I bet it's important, and probably meaningful, too. But exactly what is its meaning? Aha! Of course! To me, it symbolizes the important role that art plays in all our lives. <laughs> and not I love her. just art, but the arts in general. Music, painting, dance, performance, sculpture, drama. All have the ability to move us spiritually above the fetid plane of our daily dreary existence and take us to a realm apart. A place where, if we're fortunate, another tiny fraction of the ultimate truth may be revealed, where we cease for a few fleeting moments to be these self-consumed blobs of protoplasm so true. and share in the endless quest for true enlightenment. Gosh, I thought she could get a couple of bucks for it as scrap metal. <laughs> You're right, Shamra. I'm glad you like it. Cool. All right, and let's give her the, the pearl. And then we're good. Boop. <laughs> Shamra, I think you should have this pearl. Oh, Larry, I have no need for more jewelry. Besides, while this might be a large pearl, it does have a slight flaw over here. But wait, you're not just giving me yet another bauble. Your thinking is far too sophisticated for that. Uh, it is? You're right, it is. I see now what you're implying. It's true, I know. I, I've spent my life basing my opinion of objects upon their financial value instead of on their inherent beauty. Missing the beauty of the tree by acknowledging only the net profit to be gained, by harvesting the forest. Missing the glory of a solitary canyon while recognizing only its landfill potential. Oh my god. Oh my god. Missing no the solitude of <laughs> so a seashore. While I love I do the like oil her a lot. Rights. So exactly what is it you're trying to get me to see in this simple pearl, Larry? So new agey. Uh well. Oh, of course you won't tell me. That would be too simple. I know you want me to discover the meaning here by myself. Yes, of course. Hmm. Hmm. She got it. You can see because the score yeah, went yeah, up. Yeah, the number went up. I've got it. <laughs> 100. The iridescent shimmer of a simple sphere created naturally by one of Earth's simplest creatures from the irritation of a single grain of sand layered with bodily secretions over a lifetime creating an object of classic beauty. Is that how pearls are made? Mm -hmm. You're Gross. telling me to accept the imperfections in my character that have been troubling me these past mm -hmm. few months. To accept the irritations that life has handed me. 
to stop trying to remove all irritants from my life, to cover my irritations with layers of love so they become points of strength and beauty instead. Wow. I am? Okay. Uh, I am. <laughs> oh, Larry. I've never had a man talk with me this way, treat me this way, express things in such wonderful, subtle ways. Me neither. That's just the kind of guy I am, I guess. <laughs> Shit eating grin. Good job, Larry. All right, let's save this and then we're good. Not dead. All right, you could just say, like, gave her the pearl or making progress. Sheet eating grin. Yeah, that's what it is. Great job, Ross. Wow, this was our longest Sierra episode ever, I think. Uh, I probably. I mean, I think so. This one's. I'm this sure some some guy will be. Well, excuse me. Uh, actually, actually uh, uh, Space Quest Four uh, episode uh, sixteen actually ran for uh, twenty seconds longer if you include the credits. <laughs> they're they're they that's he's passionate fan. I thank you thank you uh, Vegeta fan seven twenty seven. Yeah, thank you thank you for being a fan. <laughs> but actually, you know what? This is a good time. Since we're yeah. almost halfway through this game, I think, yeah. like, we can just say, like, thanks for, uh, coming yeah. on this little Sierra journey with us. Yeah, these are chill. Yeah. Enjoy having uh, th you around. These are my- these are my favorite types of episodes to do, honestly. It's rad. And yeah, the it's Sierra games are just- Ooh. Yeah, like, we- we all go on a little journey. Yeah, and learn about ourselves with pearls and- Yeah. Lard and toilet yeah. paper. And we meet really hot, new-agey girls who think we're way, way deeper than we are. Ladies, trust me. We're all stupid. We're not as interesting as you think. Yeah. K please keep thinking that we are because it's very flattering and nice, but my god. We are like, we are like one plus one equals two. I am the End most, of story. I'm the most boring person ever. I can verify that. You know, I literally, I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh, I have to check my World of Warcraft garrison. That, I've it, seen that, yeah. And it's, it's pretty boring. Yeah, not it's, very interesting. It's the worst. Anyway, uh, <laughs> end of the episode. <laughs> Bye. Catch you later. See you soon. I'm on her foot. <laughs> She's got nice abs. I gave him a squeeze! <laughs>